<laughs> Great. Could you not go through puberty on the sound check? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's Tommy's video of this parrot. I don't, oh, see that. I don't think Turk is wearing. I know Turk is wearing his shirt, but I do not think that Mochi is wearing his. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you mean. It's just it's working. Oh, wait a minute! It's 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 being recorded, but it's not going out there. I'm not gonna watch it. Um. Uh, yes. Yeah. But uh, okay. So, uh, hello from Greece, Lutraki. This is the match of the century between the only two super grandmasters of backgammon, Mochi and Dirk. And we have our commentators, experts, Carter Maddig and Sebastian Wilkinson. Enjoy. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Not sure about that. <laughs> All right, welcome, we are everybody. Experts. We are excellent. Okay. Watching the two super you know it'd be pretty good right i mean we i feel like we really don't care <laughs> this is going to be uh, two people almost if you want to see almost bot play that's right i mean these are two guys both who wrote comprehensive books moshi writing master class and dirk just his book reads kind of like a tell but the, I mean, the math is spot on for all my friends who are super into the math. That's right. They're still warming up here before the battle. And uh, we're patiently waiting on drinks because, you know, when two highly skilled backgammon players comment on super grandmasters, you like to be a little liquored up. Well, so if you notice, we will not be doing this with an XG feed. Isn't is is they they play almost flawlessly, averaging what was the PRs? They were averaging two point what? Minus four. <laughs> no, uh it's under two point five. Yes, under two point five. Which um if you are any kind of sports fanatic, that is like Barry Bonds on steroid numbers. So this is they're both amazingly the top of the field, both not just Germany and Japan, but you know. Dirk is the second Super Grandmaster. I think they should change the Super Grandmaster title. It should be like Premier Grandmaster or something. Super Jedi Knight. Some kind of, I feel like it needs a little more, a little on Super. I mean, that just seems a little, yeah, yeah maybe you're right. I think they could do better. We'll put a letter to the committee <laughs> right. for that request. And... The ruling committee, the naming committee. Oh, it looks like Matthew is actually doing an XG feed. Very yeah. interesting. Oh, so great. So if we're messing up, yeah, so they'll know. Great Perfect. privilege, honor, beautiful moment to be here witnessing this live at the Lutraki Grand Prix, second Grand Prix. And we've had an increase in attendance. It's uh, it's just that the weather has actually been beautiful here. Um, what else can, what other superlatives can you say? Uh, the Greek community has been amazing. They've really supported this tournament. They've grown it um, a lot of times. You have like the sophomore experience where the first year everyone comes and the second year the numbers actually go down. They take a little bit of a dip. They've actually increased attendance. Yeah, got a good crowd here. Players from all over the world. Stunning, beautiful, lovely, powerful, fantastic. <laughs> we'll see what unfolds today. Yes, we're very excited for this match to begin. Um, I see that Dirk is wearing the the t-shirt that uh that the uh, greek federation has given him and uh mochi is dressed splendiferously as always so mm -hmm. i think they're just fixing the details now uh, hopefully we can add just what they might be thinking about what they might be considering and why those kinds of things yeah you know i think it's important that people realize that uh, our commentary is not going to be at, at all criticisms of them but it's going to be trying to explain and getting in some of these plays which look so out of the ordinary for players that are like beginners or intermediates or even experts i mean these are they've been evaluated and worked on repeatedly 
direction. Yes, we need to move down. I'm probably just going to break the whole thing if I'm moving. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It'd just be kind of good to see that corner of the board. But... <laughs> we are having a well. We can actually we can close it without. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Well played. So yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was very good. You know, you, when you hire a sound engineer to be here mm -hmm. as one of the uh, little efficiencies. Yeah, I could have hired a waiter. <laughs> right. Well, looks like we are going to be hiring a waiting. All right. If you're looking at the board right now, that'll be Mochi on the bottom, Dirk Sheeman on the top. Um, you can also, there's 14 minutes on the clock, so it'll be two, it's uh, two minutes a point. Mm -hmm. Standard. And uh, it'll be a 12 second delay, I'm assuming. Yeah, classic seven point match, as is the UBC format. Yep, all seven pointers. Very classic match length. Yep. <laughs> shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't, however. <laughs> it's going DMP, isn't it? It's going to be like an hour and a half. <laughs> exactly. Strap in. Right. Uh, where is our cocktail server? Hold on to your seatbelts. Well, we've lost Mochi. He's gone. Yeah, so well, you know. One super GM down. <laughs> Mochi is renegotiating his contract. I think we should as well. Yeah, he can charge more now. Everyone waiting with bated breath. Oh, there's Tony. Yes. Oh, Tony's got the coat. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Hydration. Wow. Exactly. Priority. I see. Super Grandmasters get their cocktails right away. It's Meanwhile, okay. We know. Yeah, yeah. We already know. The pecking order. That's right. This is kind of embarrassing. We're a few rooms okay. down. They're starting. Oh, the bar is closed. So I'm trying to find drugs, okay? Thank you, sir. The big bar is closed because of the strike. The small bar is... Even a water yeah. is good. Yeah, Thanks. Oh, and they are begun with a classic 4-2 opening. Yeah, so this is a really efficient priming point. And Doug's going to split against the stripped 8 point as he does here with a 3-2. And we're off. Classic. Are they playing yeah. Dyson Checker? I guess Mochi likes that. Oh, he does like that, but I don't think yeah. I think that's not the rule of the tournament. No, it's not the rule of the tournament. But you can agree beforehand with your opponent, I guess, sometimes. Correct. Right, let's do that. I think they're doing that I now. Think, yeah, they're having that conversation. Who's gonna hit? Click score, yep. This stops Dirk from building anything immediately and uses the power of his stronger board. Oh. Maybe he can extend his structure. One five is interesting. Does he come in with a five? What does he do with the one? Kind of wants the slot and unstack the six point if he could. Doesn't duplicate anything. <laughs> the other option is playing ten to nine. Or he could just come in with a one and come down. But I think he's going to go for. Oh, like, I kind of like that. That's nice. Puts pressure on the eight point so he can't cover with a five without giving some returns. Does give some really nice super jokers, double ones, double threes. You spot him immediately. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you got to go for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting already. Four two is like, oh, that's unfortunate. It can I, doesn't do much of anything. Can I roll again? <laughs> right. Does he hit him? Kind of feels like you may have to and hit and split to go uh go six to two and break the back because it really isn't doing you a lot of good. Yeah, the other option is playing twenty four eighteen duplicate the one and the three. But yeah, you see again him here. Yeah. I like this play. It stops the five point, the four point, the three. I mean. He has so many builders to to make an inner board point. Do you think he can double if he dances? Is that enough in the zone? I don't think so. Meh. Meh. <laughs> it's a seven-point match, though. You really want to win one or four. Maybe he just plays 18. I think this looks... It's between these two players anyway. Right. So you got a little one duplication, a little freeze, three duplication. Yeah. And it holds the structure. Yeah. I don't know though. I really I'm a big fan of uh Michi's yeah. double tigers. I thought he would go for that. Problem is he could just anchor with a five anyway. This will make the eighteen. He's really happy with that. Right. And the priming structure doesn't do any good. Yeah, I'm not sure we're looking for a six to anchor himself or a three to hit. Five four is a bit of a hitter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And now threes are duplicated. Yeah. So double ones. Oh, oh, hit and make yeah, the five. Make the five. So many good things. And oh, it's, it's there's also a hit twice. No, I think you make this. Yeah, this know. seems cool. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I know there's no following it. 
no one keeps oh, oh god of course it's a bug vodka gets me naked and not in a fun way but you can see he can't cover because he has to come in from the bar now a six plays down that's natural another builder make sure it's unstable along with a lot of people here not four two yeah that hits and hits again yeah, yeah. double hitting definitely yeah stop him making the three point pressure on it's going to be rare that we see them make any strange looking plays oh clear fan. clear cube yeah this has to be a cube like Easy cube. I just send it really quickly and let him worry about it. Yeah. What do you think he's going to do? I mean, take a drink. I think, take I, a think sip. I think he's passing. I mean, the problem is, is also threes and fives cover and fours and twos hit a third checker. So, I mean, uh -huh. but he loves to take, doesn't he? He loves he to does. take. He does. Because he can figure his way out of a lot of these things. He's like, there's only eight in the zone. I've got the four point. Hmm. Right. But it does feel like not a great spot. No. And also, you know, this is going to be PR bragging rights too, during Ooh. being the newest uh Ooh. super GM. If this is a if this is a pass blunder. There's a lot on the line. Yeah. That's right. Dirk had no beer at dinner this evening. Yeah, it was Dirk, serious. I know. He's this is this is a big thing. Yeah. Okay, so Mochi's gonna con contemplate this for a minute. He's, he's got the hand gesture. So yeah, he's yeah, running yeah. through the numbers. He's like, what if he rolls? And then he's like, well, none of those numbers are bad. What is bad here? No. One, four, that just covers. Yeah, one, four makes the point. But everything either makes the point or hits, right? Right. Except double four, but that's still kind of good. Double four just makes the, the, the four the four point. Yeah, so I think down. Yeah, I think this is going to be a pass. But he'll go through the motions. He'll count the race. Race I, race is not that bad. Um, but Mochi knows. I mean, when this goes bad, this goes horribly bad. This yeah. isn't just a oh, I just lost a point or two points. Like yeah. I lost the two points. You're this right. Is, you're I right. lose four. I just yeah. always feel like he's going to take it when he's thinking. Yeah. And he finds reasons to take, which is probably good. Yeah. Looking at the merits of the position. Okay, first game, nice and volatile. Quick point for Dirk. Yeah. One zero. Again, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is I'm Carter Maddox. This is Sebastian Wilkinson, and we are watching the Dirt Human Mochi Super Grand Master Match. The first time these guys have squared off since Dirk's uh, achieving a grand, Super mm -hmm. Grand Master status. Yeah, special exhibition match they're putting on here in Greece. All right, so we see a real classic opening three one five four, which is forced. Right now, the double three. So. Two, so you want to do two good things always right. with doubles. So he's gonna he's probably gonna come up with the anchor, but he wants to make the seven point as well. So he's thinking, do I play twenty one and ten, which is probably the standard. I idea. like this just to avoid getting like a little hemmed in with him making the four point five point. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter as much now. Stops the counter right. priming chances. This is interesting because you strip the spares, but it makes the strong board. Yeah. So yeah, he probably knows this like third roll position anyway. Right. Um, this five six just feels like the three point. Ah, yeah, interesting. It's tempting just to run out out as well to the mid, but it is. But now that you have that developed board, yeah. you don't want to give all those shots okay. like that four that five shot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, interesting considerations. We'd love a date with an eight here. I think they're going to play it now. You see? Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that like, conversation. It feels like a slot. You play six five and thirteen eleven, but you want to split as well. So again. There's always these contrasting ideas, conflicting values that you have to consider. It's going for, see if he splits with the one, the two is ah, right, big split. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, so fives and fours, which are pretty good anyways for Mochi making a counter making his little priming oh, plays. Good cube, yeah. Advanced anchor plus yeah. a threat. I like the cube. Any hit. But you always hate just putting a checker there in direct threat, like exactly where your opponent wants to attack. Make it really easy for him, doesn't it? Just to slot the point that he wants to fill in to have an incredibly strong position. And a take from Dirk, which I like, I mean, especially with the strip six point. You know, this is 
Yeah, nothing's happened yet, has he? He's not on the bar. Everything's kind of even. If he can anchor, it's, it's oh, good. So what are you going for? Now that you have the cue back, if you can double hit or you can come in. Yeah. That, that hit is clear. Now, is it down? Is it in? Is it... I mean, you give a really horrific 4-6 from the roof. And I this... Think, yeah, I think he's going to play 8-5 in the end. Because you get the, the extra builder. Wow, we're sorry about that. Incredibly annoying. I think he's going to play 8-5. to five. You get the extra builder without the block. Otherwise, you need like 4-6. But you do want the 6 to cover, so also... Not yeah, easy. six really isn't that useful. I mean, a six two, I guess, would be useful if that was there. He would definitely double hit if he had another spare in board. Oh yeah, if he had the six, if he had a three on the six or four on the six, he would absolutely trade. Yeah, because then you have a direct cover this yeah. way. Even when miss, you know, he comes in with a two or a four, it's still pretty awkward. Yeah, you got sevens and twelves. Yay! But if you manage to fill in that four point, you pretty much won the game. Correct. So usually in these pure positions, you want to leave it slotted. Which I think he'll end up doing. Yep. I do like this. Yeah, it looks right, doesn't it? Because then when you cover with the four, you still have the eight point. But, but the four but, six. But yeah, know, well, that's the swing. You didn't become super grandmaster by missing things like this. That's right. So that was clearly the best number. And oh, and now you got a little counter primey things. Okay, run yep. that guy all the way. Yeah. If you get missed, then you're just coming home with a race lead. With a big race lead. Yeah, it's not that many shots from the bar. Can't find one. He's going to jump out though. Put some pressure. He has to, yeah. Yeah, you can't leave four checkers um, back on the or slap a two with all this. They could have just like not called things for the Look match. Ones. Oh, wow, wow, love that. Yeah. So now he's thinking like, what do I need to recube? I'm up one zero six away seven away. Oh, that's a good point of contact yeah. to make. Yeah, if he hadn't have made that, he still has five checkers on the midpoint as well, so he wouldn't be cubing until. Wow, what a just in time. No, no, this is yeah, this is because he's blocked. He's, yeah, he's blocked. double three. He has to it's clear the eight horrible. and play one to the two, and that's pretty much what there's she wrote. Two. That's two. Uh, yeah, but, only, but yes, of course. Yeah, but now there's all that distance to get, and you're like walking through a minefield. Right, and Mochi can just clear the midpoint now that he has the fifteen. Make the four. So we'll just see him slot the four, make the four on the board as fast as possible, yeah. ready for his chance. Oh, that kind of changes things. Now he has to count a little bit, but I think he's still behind. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. He's still behind. Yeah, this race is not this is not favorite. But it makes it awkward because he actually wanted just to slowly make the four point and hold hold yeah, the contact. But here he's gonna make the bar and the two point. And so that's still a four point board. Mm -hmm. You know. It just looks weird because you can't really hold the fifteen for that long. No, but just a couple, another three or a nine makes yeah. it super awkward. Six, three, immediate yeah. shot. Um, yeah, the strongest position in the moment, the given moment. Five, one. And... Five, four, also not great for Doug here. Another double three would be disaster. Well, here we are. I love when you just keep rolling the big numbers mm. and just bring and, them in. You know, here we are with the... It's the first one where he's kind of get, has to kill a checker. He can't really leave the three, can he? No. Because he wants to just play nine and four. Well, actually, what he would love to do is run out, be able to run oh, yeah. out yeah, and that's slot the, the four. That's right. That's also a consideration. If Dirk had like a blotting board or more men behind, not so many spares, he would he'd right. probably just pop off the anchor. This is the situation where they call him, you know, TMP, too many points. You no, know. it's forced, right? He has to give up something. Can yeah. he, just he can't really just clear the six point, can he? I'm, I'm, what are we also going to do next roll with a five or a six? Maybe it, I mean, I know it's, I know it's he hates so it. counterintuitive to, to give up the, the anchor. But wow, it's, you really would like to have that spare out there. And this, I mean, these three on the 13 are just going to be able to hold for a while. So Black's board's not getting worse. That's true. But maybe he wants the board. Maybe he just plays, you know, to the 14, comes around to the 10. Minimum shots, keeps the contact from the anchor. You know, still has right. a bad 6-3. 5-4 is not great. And, you know, obviously the small numbers like 4-2, uh, 3-2, two, three, two, these the numbers. What is the here, though? I mean, it can't be that bad. Uh, after this, let's have a look. So it's like 9 there. That's not great. Um for DMP. Mr. Okay, now unfortunately the twos don't reach out. 
yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. What's this just, again, would be the standard yeah. approach. I mean, this is less shots for sure, but I feel like this is this is gets problematic because the the only times he's hitting is when either he's not having a return forced to. But I definitely like him not breaking his board. I wouldn't be surprised. If, oh my god, <laughs> that is well vodka. Oh, the reship. Look at this. Yeah, and so this was coming. I mean, it's a huge, this is huge, you know. Dirk has a race lead. Mochi takes. Okay. And here we have a four cube in our seven point match. Yeah, that was that's really interesting. He goes for the four cube now when he's got the shots at any two, it's like game over pretty much. Um at a five, I can't see from the reflections at five three. Bit of a glare here. Oh, double five. So oh, that makes wow. it easier. Yeah, so he just, yeah, this right. is it. He's in the race. He gets the contact now from here. Okay. Wow, we could actually just see an eight cube in this game. Look, closed board. Snowman. Okay. Yeah, it's super close now. Yeah. At 20. It was about 20 pips before, so. And he didn't really gain with a 2-1, even though he made a better board. Yeah, that doesn't matter now. It's all about the race. Yeah. Can he clear? Mochi does have more pips kind of locked up further away. Right. But it's really close. Just one good roll. What's interesting is Dirk's take point, if he does get double to eight, because he can possibly fall one down. Right. Um. So maybe we actually see that. Otherwise, it'll be 5-0. But this will have been a very quick match. <laughs> yeah, you see how Dirk's used like a minute and a half, and yeah. he's used almost half his time. Right. Yeah, they're taking it really seriously. All right, five, two. That feels like the two. Is the five burn further, or do you just... I mean, you're going to be giving a shot, chances are, anyway. So, yeah, uh, I think I like this, because the, this is the best bear-off position. So if you do just roll double six, now you're speedy, yeah. and I think that's probably what he's thinking. But six, yeah, six, five still clears. Oh. Six five players. Okay. Yep. Here we are. Wow. But he, I mean, he should be redoubling to eight pretty quickly. So uh, it's going to be hard from here, though. Yeah, I just mean it's going to come sooner than it's going to oh. come really soon. It should have. I mean, if he knew, it if would've... he knew, <laughs> <laughs> if he knew. So that's that's game over, basically. Even uh, if... especially after the one three. I think even if he rolled like double five, double six, it was. All right, Good here's question. the eight cube that you always anticipated in the match with Super Grandmasters. Yep. Wow. What was the over under on eight cube second game? Uh, I feel like that was uh, Vegas wasn't favoring those odds. Should have bet that. Sorry, coming. Maggie would be you, happy. You did, yeah, you did see it coming. All right, three away, six away. So all change. Yeah, it looked like Dirk had command of the game, and all it takes is a couple nice rolls, and the fly hit the windscreen. All right, so 4-1. Watch, you'll be looking to make the advanced anchor, take the gammons out of the game. Dirk's trying to play aggressively, getting a, an early cube. Clearly, he wants to win two points, four points, or six points, ideally, to win the match. But Watch, you off to a good start and an early advantage. Natural numbers making... Good points, sufficient priming points. That, right. that, that does not hit, but makes a three. So. Three points. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. Yeah. And now Dirk has to start looking at oh, another awkward one with a few options. Could run out all the way from the back. Come, you really want to play thirteen eight with a checker, right? I see that. I think I think I do thirteen eight and then step up to the twenty. Yeah, yeah that, that's also a play. I kind of like that one. Yeah, you could also play eighteen and play eleven eight. Another way to put a spare on the eight points. So there's a few variations here. Really yeah, difficult. Like, for some reason, I always like that checker on the eleven point. It just always makes the bar, makes the five. It does you know does a lot of work. The five is already made, so it's really not that helpful. Yeah, this is another one. You Stacking. just clean up. Yeah, because yeah. it's nice to be split at the back with a one. It's very efficient. Yeah, sort of out of harm's way. Right, and also when he's slashing at you, he's slashing deep. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas here... Yeah, yeah, it's a solid play. 
Uh, Mochi would definitely make this play at the score, but Dirk's maybe looking for something a bit more volatile with some more gammons. I like it. Can't fault them. Nope. <laughs> what are we doing with the 4 2? 4 2 is interesting. Probably hitting, maybe. And then what's coming down to the 11? Yeah, I like that. You could also step up, duplicate the 2, but down feels natural. What do you do if you don't hit is the question. I mean, two downs, way too many, right? You've got yeah, seven, too much, eight, too nines. Much. You'd have to play yeah. 13, nine. It feels like you just give too many good numbers. You want to use your board. Nine dancing numbers are pretty strong. It's almost like a protection hit. Yeah. I mean, Gaz says never hit loose on the deuce, but sometimes. But Gaz hasn't achieved a super <laughs> grandmaster level yet. Yes, we we all we all are looking at this four. <clears throat> I think I'll end up doing this, but maybe not. The problem is the alternative, right? Like what? What works here? Could play eighteen. Yeah, that's another oh, right. idea. I mean, sixes are duplicated, right? Yeah, yeah. That's four. a kind of a quiet play at three away that you could definitely consider. But Dirk, I mean, I understand it's he's got that weird the the eight. Six five, where if he gets the six or the four, you like he he has some little blitzy numbers, even though this is a priming position. Yeah, you see how thorough he is looking through all the options. Okay, went for this just kind of a simple standard move, one down, one up. This is probably a double hit, and then a cube on. Um... Well, a two for sure, but the three is God. The three is nice in, nice up, nice everywhere else. Yeah, it's it's true, but I just think you. You gain more on the double hit because right. if he just comes in with one, you have a really nice. Well, maybe you, it's not that strong a cube, but dance is definitely a good cube. Yeah, you only have fives and sevens to cover that ace. It can never be a bad cube at three away, six yeah, away. So I think he'll probably send it here. Number like four, three hits and covers, two, three hits and covers. Four, three, even hit, hit outside too. Oh, yeah. no, 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 with two in the air. Right. Okay, you just rolled. Fair enough. He knows these scores really well. I guess Mochi has the stronger board, lots of checkers sort of set up. Nicely. All right, so four one. Do you? Wow, well, he could switch. Could switch. No, he's just going to cover. as the yeah. standard. But he's looking at switching the five point, hitting a second checker. Right. I. I just. I. But that's I, weak. I mean, yeah. This feels weak. You know? Well, at least it's a three point board instead right. of a two point board with the block. Well, here we are. Yeah. So that makes the anchor, and he's probably just going to make the nine point right. super solid. Very happy with that. Yeah, you aren't switching four to two. That's not enough. Okay, so. Here we are, Mochi. But yeah, when your opponent's three away and you have some gammons, it's never going to be a big mistake to double if you have right. some threats. It's you know a safe bet that if it is a mistake, it would be a small mistake on the PR. He didn't get, he didn't think about it for that long. He's playing very quickly, so he must be feeling sharp. And now Mochi having the advanced anchor, all Dirk can do is try and get his own bank checkers into the race. So he's looking at how to go about that. You see, the first play looked at was running all the way from the back. It's also yeah, uncomfortable. I mean, it just it gives it to. He's already got the pointing numbers on the. <laughs> yeah, but he wants to get out of the prime. You see, that's what he wants to do. But it it feels weird to disconnect the back checkers, and right. he's just kind of staying out of harm's way and seeing what develops, which is probably correct. Right. Is this a five four? It's a five four. All right, so you can just simply clear your mid. Yeah, that looks right. Just come down with two. Yeah. Could consider hitting on the two point, but this is a beautiful setup. Oh, Prince. Thank you, sir. The best. Our sponsor. <laughs> we, we like to thank our sponsor. I don't think the match is going to be that long, but I appreciate it. Uh... <laughs> well, well, they had an eight. They had an eight cube already. Oh, so we're done? Uh, no, not yet. Hey, Barsley, Barsley. <laughs> All right, so we saw he covered his board. Now he has a, a four point board, but still in bad shape. Six two was not what he was looking for, but he's just. He's going to look at hitting, but he's probably going to end up playing. Set. I mean, he's not going to do this. I mean, no, he's not going to do that's, this. That's pretty. That's not. That's not. <laughs> that's that's pretty ballsy. I mean, he could do this. It could always be correct. You know, any player could be correct at any moment. Sometimes, maybe, not really. But <laughs> leading three away, you just want to keep things simple. Uh, get into like a racing position where you can use the cube efficiently. Yeah, you don't want to give him the opportunity to gammon you. Right. Or not even just hit you once and then cube you out. Right. Because your take point is so much higher. So sometimes you can win a gammon with the cube in the middle, but they come naturally. You know, if you rolled, you know, 6 4 here and pointed on him or double six or whatever. 
Um, what about making the two point? Is that so crazy? I think he's just going to play safe like this and then come in 8 6. I mean, what's wrong with that? Or even hit on the ace, just one block. I think he'll end up doing this. This is like standard sort of, uh, you know, next row we might be something better, like making the five point, making the ace or the two without breaking anything and right. leaving blocks. I mean, Dirk having the one three, the one and three already made means the spares are gone. So. Yeah, whenever you have those dilly builders on the points, by dilly builder we mean like a spare on deeper points, which can only be invested or used effectively like this, hitting on the ace or the two, then you want to use them. And you can see that he's done that here. The computer really favors those plays where you use those checkers, spare checkers efficiently. Two, four? Okay. Well, he doesn't like the four, but it's yeah. easy to play. Yeah. You For the PR, that's the... good. <laughs> that's that PR play, you like that. So any five is huge. Four two, kind of a little failure. You're now burning builders. I think he's going to break the nine and play nine three because you can't kill both the spares and you only leave five two and four three. Yep. And you you kind of want three builders to make the five points. So pretty sure you see him play nine three. Yep. If he stacks the four point, it just looks it looks good. It looks grotesque. I mean, you want to avoid this kind of idea, but. I mean, maybe he feels like four numbers is too much. I I would give I would give the numbers and just do this. Um, yeah. Looks more balanced. Plus, when he comes off that anchor, you've got a lot of returns, responses. Uh, wouldn't do that, but it's interesting idea. Sort of when you get hit with a one, the guy's still stuck behind a prime. And split, you know. So you oh, he did just go clean. Yeah, he could. I uh, wouldn't bet against him, but don't like it. Uh, this is horrible. Double force, <laughs> dear God. Uh, okay, well, it's only one dead checker technically, right? Yeah, but he loses all the outfield control, which is really painful. So much he can just like jump out now. Six five, six four doesn't quite do it, but he will jump. No, he's got gonna... one guy out. Oh, and with the dead checker, it's just difficult now. Right, but Dirk is still hitting with a four or one. Oh, five four, he needed five three. He's gonna run all the way. Yeah. Not much you can play. I mean, what, step up again? You can't. Um, yeah, this feels this feels like it. Yeah, he's got some outfield coverage here. It's not that many like hit and cover numbers. Really trying to guard against much escaping the last back checker. Right. I mean, this does have the advantage of you know it does cover what it's eleven away. So if he doesn't get popped with the ace, he's got a lot of. Yeah, so he covers this. You know, he would pop out with a five and then lift with the three, but right. now he's got a direct six on that. He might end up playing that anyway, but he could just come in and make the ace, but he really wants to jump out from the back. I think he's going to come in and come out, right? Just give yeah. aces and eights. He could actually come in with a five and jump out with a three. Right, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, aces and eights. Is that more? That's about the same. All right, so he's going to... Yeah, just keep it like this. Maybe. Well, now he has the four-point board, so right. if he gets hit with a one or a four, he's goes. Whoops! Whoa, yeah, gets the is. hit. He's gonna play eight to six. That is definitely gonna play eight to six with yeah. the other two. Now, can you, you afford to keep it slotted? And I mean, can you afford to not keep it slotted? Uh, yeah, he's looking at lifting immediately. Yeah, yeah I'm with you though. Right. Like, I really wanna, I really wanna make it, but the cost is very high. He's yeah. probably thinking like, can I double if he doesn't come in like this? And if he can, yeah. he doesn't need to leave it. But if he couldn't, then he would leave it, right? Because right. he'd have a stronger double. It should be interesting. So wise decision would have got hit. And now he's getting hit, of course. Yeah. Again, efficient use of those dilly builders we talked about earlier. These are two. Five is okay. Five is okay. We're not gonna see he's gonna play three to two again, use that checker efficiently to slot, I imagine. I don't know. Yeah, I, th I mean, he's probably getting hit on, right? Oh, what's that? The crowd at five to four. Five to four. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's everyone's praying for it. Uh, uh, yeah, the the ten the ten instead of the eleven. Okay. Yeah. So what I is that? I, I do agree with this the concept of not slotting the two because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, chances are you're getting slashed at and you don't want to have the yeah, return yeah. shot back. I understand that makes sense. Logical. Five two is not what he wanted. No. There were lots of numbers there that were better than this. So he probably just runs the back man right, and then if he gets missed, he's almost. Oh, well, he's probably going to double. Yeah, if he gets missed, he's gonna double. I think. Wait, wait, what's the race though? I mean, mm -hmm. it's maybe not that 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 simple a double. He yeah. could get missed, but he could also roll a six out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. I was just thinking with the threats of like hit and cover, point. Right. 
But yeah, the score probably right. So five and another two. There isn't really. Oh, four to two. He could play. All right. Yeah, yeah keep it simple. So we got good advice. Threes nine. So you got the duplicated threes, right? Well, double threes doesn't double threes hits anyway, right? Yeah, six threes duplicated. Six three five four. You but did you still have the five four? Mm. Okay. So what we're doing is just counting the numbers. Okay, where the last draw is done with ninety five players. Ninety five. Now to the internet. It's great. Three one. All right, Dirk hit. Fifty one players in the uh, Yeah, you can leave the six because four six he gets a return. Extra builder for the four point. Yeah. And he's gonna double with any dance, obviously. So Oh, and they agreed to yeah. dice and check. They it. agreed. Dirk is absolutely shipping here. And what's he gonna do? Insta pass. Yeah. yeah. Not much you can do about that. Okay, so Dirk's climbing back after that. Eight cube, which right. is pretty impressive. Pretty devastating in a seven point match. And you know, <laughs> Mochi passing here one point going from four one to four two is not very costly at all. Nope. Right. He goes to five away, odd away score, not very efficient. And now essentially we have a five point match where Mochi's two two nil up. Mm -hmm. Um so we'll see what develops. Dirk has gone off. Checking his Instagram, his OnlyFans page, checking all the... Uh, oh, right. Like, yeah. No, I was thinking he was going into one of those cool, deep tanks that oh, the te tennis right. players used to right, that regenerate. Cryo, a cryotherapy tank. There we go. Just a quick dunk in the cryotherapy. We know all the secrets. Right. Yeah, I think Dirk is just adjusting. Mochi's... He has won two of the games to Mochi's one game. Correct. But that incredible four, that incredible eight cube. That game. was strong, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, double three. Nothing between them. Six four. So he's probably going to play like this because he's leading. Right. So when you're leading, you want to run or split. And when you're trading, you want to make the two point for more gammons. There's the two. There's yeah. the two. Yeah, there's the five. You're like ha hacking on the ace. You don't have enough. No, yeah, you just set up nicely. Wow, that's the best, pretty much. You right. just. Get that high anchor. Yeah, can't be going. Work the five point being made on your head. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll see him make the 11, make the 22, and slot the four. Uh, I mean, I like the make the 11. I can okay. like this a little more. Okay. Now oh, because he's got some more shots. Okay, yeah. I agree, actually. I like making the four point. Now some of the five, two. Yeah, yeah. No, I like this. Yeah, yeah much better. All right. Six four is duplicated, but it'll take it. Yeah, eights and tens. So following the same theme, you just play eight to three. No, he makes it now. But the three is a bit awkward. Uh, I guess you're just starting the three. They could just play eight to three again with the same idea. Yeah. He's in the race now. Wow. You yeah. see that casual toss as Mochi makes a four prime in front of him. Flick oh, of the sideways, wrist. flick of the wrist. Love that. Laces. Well, he's really happy he made the anchor now because he's got daylight to jump out. Right. But... He's in a losing position. Mochi has the better anchor yep. and the better prime. 4-1 is just 13-8, probably. Yep. If Dirk's board was a bit weaker, he might consider slotting the back of the prime. Slotting the back of the prime. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see this. So he doesn't leave 6-2, which was a okay. hitting number, but he still left two builders. So nice play, I think, with the 4-1. Look at this. Extra okay. builder. Yeah. Dirk really wants a 6-X or even... 6-3. Yeah, yeah, six three of course. Six three, double six, six out, six five. He's out. Yeah. yeah. And if he can dodge this, then it was interesting because he's on his way home, but it's just not easy. Oh, he did not dodge it. No doubt. No, no doubt. Half sentence there. Like, up <laughs> three six five four. Oh, oh, oh. three six is a little cheeky. Scary. That's yeah. cheeky. And a Double dance. dance. QB? Oh, no QB? Too early. I feel like it's a little early. Because he's got the 11 point. The high anchor is... And he's just... got the dead checker. Yeah. The 11 point is really nice. I mean, if he had the 7, easy cube, right? Right. Or the 9, easy cube. The 11, he doesn't like. Because the threat of clearing that now is very small. Yeah. And Mo it's also such a hard point to clear. So hard. Mochi's position is kind of perfect. And you want that spare that's on the 4 point, on the 6 point, where it belongs. Right. So... But you had to kill it. You know I mean, you had to at least shift it. The other thing is, with no gammons, or few, no, not so many gammons, Mochi is happy to play for two points, right? Reach Crawford, get to right. six, and only give up two points, get to four, or worst case scenario. But he gives it. Yeah, I mean, he like Dirk wants either one or four here, you know? I mean, there are gammons with the third checker back on the bar, uh, but his front position is just so strong. 
It's going to be difficult to clear that 11 point. Yeah, I think an easy take. Yeah. Questionable. Q, but it's probably fine. 3 2. Probably going to play 11 8 to start to prepare to clear that and then scooch to the 14. Yeah. That would be my guess. You don't want to stack the 11, then it's going to be difficult to clear. You want to like sort of pre clear that. Although Carlin would say, what is pre pre ball? <laughs> get on before you get on. <laughs> oh, okay, so. I would not do that because it just leaves too much to clean up. You know, just such awkward points to have the 11 and the 8 to clear and a strip 6 in so, front of it. So what's he thinking? He's thinking, I get three builders to make the 7 point, three builders to make the 10 point. This might cause you problems next roll. Let's say he enters with a 1 and you roll like 6, two, six 5. Six, three. So I think he's going to go, oh, right. Maybe he hasn't seen the... Okay, I don't think he's seen the other variation, actually, because... I'm pretty sure that's better than this, but he's probably right. But now you kind of you're under pressure to clean up both blots, and it's not that easy. Okay, made it look. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's. But but oh, do you want to be heavy on the eleven? Well, that's what I mean. Like, he has to. I mean, he just can't leave the shots. It's like, uh, what are you going to do? This is six five. Why would you leave six five? Well, he's got a, a slot blot in board. Maybe you. Yeah, wouldn't. I wouldn't leave it. I mean, you might leave it next roll as well. You might roll two, yeah, one next roll or something. But you'd be putting five on the five on the eleven. It's point. a good reason not to do it. Does it make six five bad? You can still play six five, so all the other numbers should play. Yeah, but but God, that looks so. It ugly. does. That's the point you wanted to clear. So right, and you just reinforced it twice. Reinforced the strongest reinforcement. So many, so many super grandmasters don't understand the value of having five on the eleven points. I mean, these are simple plays. I mean, who are who are, who are these guys? What are they doing? Right <laughs> after you ship, after you ship the cube, you of course want to have five on your eleven point Minimum. player against that's right against a twenty point anchor. That's right. The more the merrier. Yeah. Make it heavy. All right. So it goes with a safe play as expected. Yeah. Don't leave unnecessary shots. You don't want to pay risk if you're not gaining anything. And although he was gaining a little bit structurally, the the risk of getting hit just oh, always four two. Oh, we didn't we didn't find that one. That's, yeah, that's forced. And now six five oh. is bad because he has to clear the eight point. Right. So it's quite typical in these positions. It all comes down to the anchor versus the eleven or the six away point. And are you going to leave a shot? Are you going to get a hit? Right. And generally, what happens is either it goes really really well and you just clear it immediately, right? And it looks so easy. Or it gets worse and worse and worse very slowly, like a slow moving train, and inevitably you lose. You get ground by the <laughs> you get ground by the train. All right, well oh, double fives. Yeah, well that gives him some race equity now as well. He'll All just right. he'll just bring one check around if he sees it and slot the two point. Well, yeah, I think he's taking a count, right? Oh yeah, it's, sure, it's sure. Worth it. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? And worse comes to worse, it's gonna be a tie game, right? Exactly. That's why the cube is so yeah. comfortable for much here in this score. Three one's kind of nice. He's going to break the board, but he gets the spare distribution. Right. No bad six five anymore. Slowly preparing to clear the eleven point, or giving himself the chance by creating numbers which would clear it, which aren't doubles. Now here we go. So we should see him. Cl yep. Yep. Clear. There we go. Make the this. Ace. Yeah. And now he has the five three at least. Um, which could clear it safely next row. Oh, he's off. Yeah, this is definitely a race. Again, again the alternative is just not right. going to work. the board apart. It just does not work. So very often, even when you're losing, your best chance to win is the race. Right. So here we can see him getting into it. And you have to have teeth in the board to have it. Be oh, effective. it's a spinner. Six, five. Well, he's, have, he's doing well now. Yeah. That's pretty close, but let's see. Two in. That's annoying because you want to fill in the yeah, five point. Yeah, you don't want to keep stacking the six, but... Yeah, you really like builders, spare checkers on the four and the five points. This way he's at risk of missing with a five later on. Yep. What are you considering a recube? Take points like 15.8%. Oh, <clears throat> two, one, a little failure pie. So we could actually get a recube if he, if he keeps rolling well. And another fun... I think you just, you just go to the four, right? With the two, uh, yeah, six to four. yeah, I would play six to four. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to stack another one. Like praying for the double sixes is getting a little old. Yeah, but okay. 
It's not going to be a lot in it. It could easily be correct just to come in. All right. And Mochi, I think I go six to four again. Just that little perfect little distribution on that. Yeah. Happy Mountain. So it needs, it needs to be a clear pass for money or an even score to think about redoubling. Oh, two one failure. Okay. So Dirk will catch up by two yeah. pips. Couple of extra checkers off, too. Oh, oh any sixes is pretty good, right? Yeah. Six. <laughs> I've read that somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure that's really down. Book? That's right. It's coming out. It's very short. That's... Very short. So... Yeah. Now, and now here's Mochi looking, going. I'm a little surprised that Mochi's. I mean, effectively, this pit count is. Oh, hello. 30 versus. Oh, oh yeah. It's but he's, he's getting there. That's the thing. He's thinking, what do I need? How much better do I need it to be? Up seven pips. He's definitely getting there. Don't need a six. It's not great. No, but most he's got gaps too. Granted, These positions are really difficult to estimate as well when someone has like. Awkward structure right. gaps, but I like Mochi's. Wow, well, he's going to keep now. I think was this two, four, six, two, four, five. Yeah, he's definitely going to think about this for a little bit. I would. I think I would keep this. But the race, like the race is. I mean, a grand temperature up. How many pips? I mean, how many checkers? I can't tell with Mo Mochi's hair in the way. No, so he's got a checker on three. three. Yeah, right. So that's it. Okay, so you're you're down for even even it's a pip, right? This is a pip. Um, I'll have to count. It's a pip. Twenty six. Two pips. Huh? Maybe a pip. Right. I think it's twenty six, twenty four. Okay. And one extra checker. And the gap on the five and the two is kind of something. Right. Yeah, really interesting position. So can we give him about 85%? I mean, he wants 85%, but 84% would probably be enough. Um, lock in these match winning chances. Yeah, he doesn't think he has it. It's interesting that the clock is frozen. It looks like. We're already frozen. I think we're all frozen. Oh, yeah, everything's frozen. Uh-oh. Okay, well, all good. No, it's not. We're not seeing what's going on. We'll get it back. They want to send Mate a message. So we see that there is movement on the Dirk and Mochi live cam, but we are not seeing... We what see nothing, the but we can say that, you know, they're both going to be really good at these types of positions where you can calculate. Oh. Has something happened? He's just thinking. Yeah, he, but he's, I don't know if the cube got, the cube didn't get reshipped. I don't believe it. looks like it's still on the corner. It's in the Mochi. corner. Oh, no, Mochi's He's nursing here. it. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, hopefully we get the main board back because we can't actually see anything, but we're doing our best here for you guys. We are, we are slaving away. <laughs> We're 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 working for uh we're singing for our supper. Uh but if uh Mate, if you're listening to our stream, uh our uh our, the over the overhead cam is frozen. So while we see Mochi and Dirk shuffling checkers. Oh oh there we go. And we can Dirk see. ended up winning. We can see that Dirk won. They wish to pause this. Good uh, no recube. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can get Very Mate. good no recube results wise. I'm sure he was right. Maybe we're also frozen. Technical difficulties, strife of life. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. They come up all the time. Things should just work, but they don't always just work. Hopefully we can get everything running properly and correctly again as soon as possible. We don't have the XG running, or we don't know what the PRs are. We don't see anything that you see. We're just in the back room, basement, underground. 
Oh, is he not around? No, but I had them hold up the map. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything I can press to help the... No, it's not. Okay, please bear with us. See if we can get this working again. If not, it's all good, I'm sure. Oh, it also paused on the stream. Is it paused on there as well? Oh, it was a redouble, you see? I knew it was a redouble. Only a Tony or Matt says the stream is frozen. Yeah, the stream is frozen. Please enjoy oh. our short musical interlude. <laughs> You're now hearing the dulcet tones of Sebastian bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow, bow. Ladies and gentlemen. We interrupt this announcement. Yeah, we need the viewers to see the board and the pieces moving. Perfect. I'm guessing the internet is just having a yeah. a nap. Having, having a... It might be with us any moment. We are dealing with a, a nationwide strike today. Oh, yeah, there's a nationwide... There we go. We can blame it on the strike. There's a nationwide strike. Nationwide? That's committed, dedicated, together. That's power to the people, all together or nothing at all. But tomorrow, apparently, everything will be back to normal. You know, if I was going to do it for a day, might as well do two days. You know, let them know you're serious. I mean, while you're at it, take the week. Why not? I hope you're all enjoying your evening and this special event we have put on for you. For you, sitting there right now, listening to this. This is what you all wanted to see. And by looks of things, we've got to a three-point match. Four all is the score. We knew it was going all the way, didn't we? Every time we knew. But let's see how we get there. And we're just refreshing the stream and the camera. See if we can get that back on working properly. Let's have a look. I'm confident that everything will be working again soon. And there we go. Transition. It's looking good. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see Hands moving, check is moving, that the board is back. And fingers crossed the players sit down and can resume their match shortly. So I thought what happened. Uh... Uh, you fix it. Yeah, Mochi did not cube and then rolled a 4 2. Dirk rolled double fours and that pretty much ended ah, double the fours. cube window. Yes. Okay, so I don't think the viewers would have called that either because it froze, right? Right. And they don't have like this, or maybe they, but I don't think so because yeah. no. that's the stream. So hopefully you caught that update there, Mochi. The screen now is still frozen. Oh, on the stream, but maybe that I think they're on a delay, so that will okay. catch up. All right, we will hope that the delay catches up. Yeah, it should come in half a minute or so. But if you didn't catch that update from our fearless, faithful, fantastic Cardomatic here in the booth, 
Is this a booth? What is a booth? This <laughs> this is, is an airy. This is a chat. This, this actually <laughs> feels like an assassin's window. So this is a balcony. We're like <laughs> we're anyway, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Mochi did not read a double for the match, which we believe he should have done. And it turned out to be correct if you're going by the results of the dice, because Dirk rolled double four. That would have ended everything. The one ply rollout really was right, effective here. Right. You know, one thing is the correct decision mathematically, probabilistically, from the computer's point of view. Another one is living it in your life and seeing the numbers in front of you. So, yeah, I think it might be coming back on because something's going yep. on there, but yep. I'm not sure. So not sure, but on here it's good. It is good on here. Hold on one second. I want to just make sure. I mean, Mochi doesn't want to look at that position anymore. Yeah, it's still set. Okay. All right, I think it'll work. I'm confident. And maybe no one can hear me. Maybe you can. But it doesn't matter. The tree falls in the woods. Then it probably died. And I feel bad for that tree. So unfortunately, we're having ongoing troubles here, but the suspense is building. The intensity is riveting when we come back live, unhinged from Lutraki, Greece, 2024. We're back. That is the cat. They were caught up from the delay. So that is because there was a pointy finger on the board. So we're back. Excellent. So we're they can back. go. Can they go? Did they you tell them to go? go? But Mochi is now somewhere else. Oh, he's gone uh, for his Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, that's how these diva superstar super grandmasters are. We, you know, merely, what are you now? We uh, ordered like half an hour before those guys. You're a, so you're a, a no, Grandmaster no, 1? No, what are you? I'm retired. I no, 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 no. I don't play anymore. Let's sing your praises, no, Sebastian Wilkinson. Not. You didn't work that hard on the no. computer for Cardamatic, not to have this. You are international back. I'm telling you, far more successful than I've ever been in any tournament globally, home or otherwise. Yeah, but that's because I have a pact with God. <laughs> so, I mean... The, I mean, those things super. Secret. I was in the queue. Oh. You just, you just beat me to it. So, all right, we're all right. All right six one. Everybody knows how to play that. Hopefully, double, double four. four okay, good response. So Dirk is now the favorite in the match from being four one down. Double five is annoying because you can't move your back checkers, and you need to move your back checkers when your opponent has an advanced anchor. You want to grab an advanced anchor. Oh, look at this three two. Three two is a bit boring. You just have to do that, and then yep. Oof. Don't want to leave any shots. I still shot. love it. I love it. Oh, you want to play 6-4? I mean, yeah. I still love that. Or even or even down in 5. If You know, if he hadn't rolled the double 4 and much he'd rolled the double 5, he might have gone for something like that. But the race is just too good, and that's perfect. Pointed on head. Yeah. Dance here would probably be a cube. 2-1 is interesting. Probably just goes all the way to the 22 point. Puts, yeah. That puts pressure on the 9 point. Can't really use it. Well, you can use it as a builder to make the five and the seven, but you leave a direct shot. There's yep. the cube. This looks fun. Decision on. What would you do here? I take. We're joined in the studio by Tony Diamantis. 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 Infamous. He does take what a call. Nice. Tony, I know you would have taken that one. Snap take. Yeah, it was a snap take. If and you wanted, huh? Here we see what we're talking about. He can make the five point, but he must leave the direct six, which he'll probably do because of the blot on Mochi's ace point. Yeah, I mean, this is just such a strong position. You just... Right. You know, he, as much as he wants to hit. And what do you do if you don't do this? Two down? That looks a bit... Uh, that looks garbage. I mean, you still leave some shots and you don't make the five. Why not just do this? I mean, you're yeah. happy even if he rolls a six. You're not yeah. that, you're you not that sad about it. This isn't a yeah. big problem. You just don't want him to roll a two. That would be really sad. Six, okay. Okay. And a one. Yeah, he's thinking. Doesn't want to give a good three from the bar because it's blocked. Yeah, the three's but blocked. The other way, he doesn't want to step up, leaves more numbers. Two, yeah. one, six, four. And now he could actually win a gammon. Yeah. I mean, a dance is... A big gammon chance. One, oh. one he likes. Yeah, six he's not crazy about, but he'd break the anchor to hit. 
Yeah, often you're very happy to leave a block on the nine point when someone needs a four to anchor or to step up, like we see here. He's just going to run yep. after well, hitting. Man. Yeah. Or come out from the back. He's right, thinking. If you come out from the back, at least the six is the six plays kind of garbagey, and especially like a t ah, six here. Yeah, and the strips midpoint. So he definitely could consider that. Because he'd have to break the midpoint. The return shots, two is also duplicated from the bar. Yeah, he gets off like the double one, double two, double three. Right. Which are massive. And double two would still be good, but okay, he makes the standard play. Yeah. But interesting. Uh, Mod Mod is in big trouble here. I think you're sliding the two. I'm giving you the, the feeling as if you're here with us in the room. Right, we made sure we made sure to make sure that you know all the updates of what's happening. Right. You might as well be here. If you're not here now, get here quick. Oh, it covers the point. Just run it. You don't want to get hit with the six three. You don't want to get double three, double ones, double yeah. two. I mean, this. this I mean, he's thinking. Fine. Yeah, you're thinking of making the eight point again as well. But this is enough, isn't it? I mean, this is way. This is plenty. Plenty. Oh, that's a horrible number. It's gonna have to come down with both. Just try and yeah. make the five and the four points. Fill them in. But I mean, he's yeah. in terrible shape here. Oh. Yeah, any ace, and then he's got numbers like four two, six three. Actually, six three is now duplicated. And fifty four. Okay, it's, five three just run out. Yeah, yeah, three on the ace is enough, and doesn't want to get counter primed. So, yeah, that's some really nice trap. Okay, now you get the five point. So, okay, at least you have some threats. Yeah, you got some strength, fly shots. some structure. Can he make the bar point? He can't, but he can play safe, which he'll probably do. Yeah, he could get another builder, but he's thinking, is it worth it? Six two while I'm watching. Then I think he's not gonna get that. Yeah. Oh, he is. Gonna oh, get he, that he heard you. He heard. Oh, I love it. Here it comes. Wow, you no, call it. You always call it easy call. Be... Oh, the two was first. Yeah. Must split and slot or not? No, he doesn't want to get hit with twos and. I I kind of yeah. like this. You want to have you know a little more advanced anchor. He's getting hit here, surely. Surely you just maybe, maybe not. Not surely. He could make like this beautiful, but two blocks in board. Mm. Don't call me Shirley. All right. Yeah, this is this is what I was thinking. Perfect distribution. Right. But he could roll six five. Any eight, eight nines. But okay, yeah. So the double okay. blotting. Okay, fair enough. Indirect shots, very right. safe. Why not? But I mean, you you still are hitting with an eight. Yeah. Five two. Of course you're hitting. Yeah, you don't care about this. So he's got to jump out, I think, and make the board. Yeah, if you jump out, you yeah. make the two, and now all of a sudden you've got a four point board. It's you know almost as strong as his four point. Yeah, board. look at look at five four now for Dirk would be a little horrific. A, a shot, right? Yep. So let's make the four point board and yeah, don't get too clever with this. Yeah, but the likelihood is he does get hit on the bar, right? And he can't really make the two point now with the little numbers because he needs to hit you. It is probably gonna have to no can he leave the shots then you just roll a six and you make the 18. Two? just play I safe i don't think he's gonna make the two i think he's playing safe yeah six five next trial is not great but the six eight all those on the 13 is yeah just getting hit is, is bad isn't it yeah oh we can't stay the there double fives yeah but no no yeah, you can break the eight point when you have the two points not part of the prime Dirk no, being 11. happily relieved here come in safely no pressure no direct contact yolo double six <laughs> double Oof. six has changed so many games can't, and look at this garbage can't really come out he wants to come out but let's slide two points yeah almost resigns two points here gonna get some shots from the anchor now double six is fun yeah all right four two. Yeah. okay four two is fun could still get some fly shots here if he doesn't manage to get safe that's one of them Right. So how does he leave it? Because sixes are bad. So does he get an extra builder by playing six to two? Or maybe he just leaves I think double I six. Come, yeah, now you don't have to leave double six. You can come down with the four and then go six to four. Uh, six to two. But if he's going to break off the anchor with all the sixes, right? why give him one extra number with a closed well, board? Why, why not just do this? But I, I think because you get closer to home, you're saying closer to home, and you get like the the comebacks on like the six three, six two, six one. Mm, I think I would have made his play, but. I can see arguments for both. I like having four builders when he right. when he opens, but now you might not get home and well, at least he's broken the board. Well, that oh, in the look gap. at that perfect spot. All right, 
But he doesn't want him to roll a six because he, he doesn't win as many gammons as if he just stays on the anchor. Right. Well, oh. he wanted to roll this, though. Double threes. Yeah. Crack the board. Leave something slotted. All right. So now Dirk has got the green light for the aggressive bear off. He can just go for it. That's not great. Well, I guess you can go, yeah, six to four, because now the six five isn't nearly as yeah. intimidating. Yeah. But he wants something like three two. There we go. Yeah. Uh, that's illegal. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> uh, it's fine. That's much. Yeah, that's the legal play. Yeah. It's okay. Plus, it's the way. How many is it after? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be six four. Boy. Races that we see. How many have we been part of? Yeah, too where many. You just too many. Feel like, oh well, I've got five off. There's no way he could possibly catch me now. Mm -hmm. Second set of doubles. Rigged. Here come the ones. <laughs> His third set of doubles. He needs three off here for it. Oh no, that All that right. flunk is pretty bad. But he'll be happy not to get gammon there after what developed. Yep. I mean, he was in terrible shape. Another good set of positions. Very All interesting right. decisions. Four three or three two. Three two seems natural, but any set from Mochi that does enough damage. Yeah, no. double six catches him off a little bit. Even double threes and double two is help. Meh, double two. Meh. Listen, you <laughs> he, needs four, he needs four off, that's why. Well, checkers, it's, it's, yeah. Here's three off. Three off is okay. I guess if you get three off every roll, you're doing okay. Yeah, except that spare is in a garbage position. That's just yeah, That's it. What a comeback from 4-1 down. Don't tell him come back. Get to the Crawford game. So this plays like DMP because the gammon for Mochi doesn't really have any value. If he wins the game, gets to 6-5, and then it'll be the last game, 6-6 six, six or 6-5. Six, Just a free drop, which is worth very little. So let's see. They'll be curious to have a look at this match, I'm sure. Oh, they're going to be, yeah, this, this is definitely going to be a, especially that 8-cube, wow, mm. that's crazy. Yeah, and the possible redouble to 4 in the, in the other game. Yep. Lots of big decisions here. Mm. I'm sure they're both playing very well. It would be great if it would just turn into a it's like, these two super grandmasters, one play one play the ten. You're like, wait, the pressure of Greece has just made it so intense. That just that wouldn't happen. They just oh, don't makes... want to disappoint Tony. Yeah, solid four prime. He's off to a great start in this game. Even though Dirk's escaped one checker with six five. Okay, the three run kind of even things up, but yep. otherwise it's awkward with the stack on the midpoint. So the question is, how does he contain the last back checker? Everyone there, split. Okay. Flag. I don't know if you're getting it at home. Yeah, hopefully it's our connection is unstable. We are in, we are in the middle of a nationwide strike today. Yeah. United six. Yeah. Wow, advanced anchor. She's in great shape now. You just. Contain the last back checker. Oh, there oh. he goes. <laughs> <laughs> well spotted. Oops. Oops. Eights or threes are really in Never in doubt. Eight. Never in doubt. Contain that man. Yeah. Put him into the five and... Yeah. And now you just roll that prime home. That's it. Simple. Do not become a super grandmaster by not hitting these That's eight right. shots. Double world champion. You see, he's too hot. Sometimes you can be too hot. <laughs> exactly. Overshoot your market. <laughs> All right. Six out is important. There he goes. And now I don't think I give the seven. I think it's I four numbers back. either way, actually. Uh, but yeah, staying back makes a bit more sense. Um, but I mean, you do. Ah, you don't care about being gammon, so you do want to lift it. I mean, you do want to leave it too hot. Oof. See, sometimes you can be too hot. Here comes the race. Yeah, so the, he's can't, but he's, structurally, he's doing very poorly. Okay, so you can make that weird point and block the double five. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I think I would go for that actually. Yeah, I mean you've got problems. I mean double five is just game over. Right. So, oh yeah. Why this not is block kind of that? Cute. Even six five. So here we are. Dirk and Mochi slugging it out. Now it's big decision here. He's thinking, yeah, run off the anchor while the block's in board. Go for it. Right. Not so many hitting covers. One is duplicated. Can he hit in cover? He can. Oh, and does. One yeah. Three. Oof, that's a strong move. Yeah. All right, Mochi. I guess Mochi can two mm. sticks. Now he's going into the four. But if he escapes, three, I mean, he's sorry. got the race. Dirk would love to make the seven here and just lock it up. Now, can he make a really kind of big 
Oh, it meant nine point. Yeah, yeah. Nine like the nine, points. like the nine. Yeah, because then if he scooches up with a one, yeah, you're in good shape. And you can then if you make the seven, you have a six prime. Yeah, and you've also blocked the five two as an escape. You've blocked. Yeah, a even of... if you rolls double five, actually hits and covers. That's not good. But <laughs> <laughs> those little things mean so much, Seb. But double five is kind of good anyway. I mean, it's very pretty. Right. Very pretty. I, I do. Yeah, I think this is this is super strong. Yeah, that looks right, doesn't it? One point away from a six prime, yeah. and hey, four builders to fill in the seven. You can actually use the nine point now as a safe builder. Right. Um, he's gonna have to play this. Yeah, you get things that I think one, you're Dirk's five, playing one, you're six one really six, well. Five. Good mo oh, five four. Oh, there he goes. No, oh, needs to hit this. Yeah, Dirk needs a two or a one. Twenty numbers. Oh, oh and a flunk is a flunk. Okay. I guess much he doesn't get passed with two numbers. Right, but you have to lift that one <laughs> because yeah. this is the problem, right? Exactly. That makes sense. You got some racing chances. Is yeah, there a double pretty, two here? Ooh. Is there? Is there? No. No. All right. I couldn't call a bingo number. All right. So it's looking like we're going all the way, which we said from the start. We knew this was going to happen. It is scripted, folks. Yeah, it's re reality TV. <laughs> Yeah. If you think the NFL and the <laughs> NBA are scripted, you should see how we do here at, <laughs> at Greek backgammon tournaments. Well, we ran through like four hours of rehearsals, and I can tell you it's going much better than it was. To go from an 8-cube to a DMP yeah. match. We had to make it believable enough, but yet still exciting. So, right. <laughs> Well played. Do we use galaxy dice? If you can this? see the puppet strings on the dice, we apologize. They're supposed to be they were whited out, in, weren't they? There's yeah, invisible string, but we did off we did offload that to Sri Lanka, so I understand how some people are now. All right. It's the shadows. If you have the high def TV, you may have caught. Yeah. Just like we've broken the double twos have come up a little too often. Mm. We need to talk to a management about that. Yeah. All right. So we are going to get to one away, two away, post Crawford. Yeah, of course, they both played brilliantly. I think Mochi's missed a few things as we picked up, but, you know, minor things. That recube was interesting. Um, Dirk's been in different kind of positions, different numbers. Both had really interesting decisions. And it's all going to come down to the last game. But what we'll see is that Dirk has... The free drop of all free drops. Yes, he does. But Mochi also is one of those people who's very skilled at waiting on the cube, waiting on the cube, and then giving you that decision where you're like... No, nope, he's going to instantly give it here because uh, two away. Yeah. So we'll see. If Dex's a favorite after the opening sequence, he'll take it. If he's not, he'll pass. And then we'll play... The ultimate DMP. <laughs> the, the DMP to end all If you DMPs. didn't think we could be here any longer, we can be. Oh, like the auto. Oh, so here. Dirk is almost certainly going to take this auto cube. Yeah. If he passes, we're all going to learn something. Good. <laughs> right. All right. So it's on. This is the final game of the first ever Super Grand Master exhibition match. All right. This is not yep. good structurally. It's good for the race. We have a but blitzing. We have a blitzing position. Is he going to slot? Because he's going to prime him. You want to prime when someone rolls right. the opening double five. Dirk has, according to Mochi's yeah. book, he That's has the a priming theory. position. That's right? the theory. Yeah. You slot. You go for the prime. Mochi wants to get into the race four three up with both. Yeah. 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 And now he is favorite. Wow. It's going to be a big finish. Comes out. Oh. Contact. Dupe the one. Right. Try and make that. 2-1. Does he slot the 4? I think he's make the 5 and slot the 4. Does he hit and come down? Maybe he hits and Is comes down. Enough? Interesting. He's not sure either. He's only got a minute on the clock. He <laughs> likes the first yeah, play like, we came up with. I like this one, yeah. Yeah, any 3, any 6. Where's the 2? Just 16? Makes wow. sense. Yeah. Don't give him the 6 from the bar. Keep those bad. Duplicate the 4. Very nice play. All right, back to kind of an even game. And that's four. Another so fun one, six. Okay. Down. Maybe he plays eight to two, but I like 13 seven. Yeah. Difficult. Yeah, you've got that five that five break point, you know? So it's. Yeah. You want to play pure here. I mean, you don't care if you get another man sent back, create more contact, more defensive chances, which could help you win the game. Yeah. Can't be gammoned or backgammoned. 
This is this a double five and no five three. Five three is really interesting. You can hit on the ace, you could do this, you could slot the five. Yeah, maybe I would have been a bit more creative there, but that's probably oh, look at you making the I'm a slotter. What can I say? <laughs> well, can the, I say? Making the fifteen point here is not usual. No, it looks nice. He's gonna run the check around, I suppose. So the yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, because it's a it's a good builder for the five point and the bar point. Mm -hmm. Wow, Dirk's on his way home. Yeah, yeah. clear favourite now. Clear favourite. Mochi wants to make the board. All roll this. Double fours. Yeah. Okay. On his bike. Here's the fight. Yeah. Now it's super close. I mean, yeah, he's actually up a little bit in the race now. <laughs> Mochi, yeah, Mochi is, right? Yeah. But really close. Two, three. Let's just start making the board. Oh, I thought it was going to come down to like a last hit, re-hit, but it's just going to be another race. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that easy to clear those checkers on the 16 point for, for Mochi. Yeah, the thing he's got going for him, he's got a lot of time yeah. to do it in lots of roles where he can just play safe and Mochi's wait for a good casual number. Casual flip did not get this, right? Okay. Yeah, I like his technique. It's developed, yeah. obviously, over decades of playing. It almost feels like sarcasm. <laughs> Doesn't it? It almost feels like like almost dismissive, like a slap him. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, commoner. How dare you also have a super grandmaster title? Uh -huh. mm. All right, but both of, both of these players have worked so hard to achieve this achievement, and Mochi had it. You know, that's true. For... If they were in any other field, they would have given so much to the world. <laughs> they would have cured cancer instead. These brain parts have been developed, so we know how backgammon works. Mm -hmm. Oh, and double fives, Mochi is absolutely taking the lead here. Yeah, that almost seals it. Just the midpoint to clear, which should be relatively easy. Dirk needs something to catch up here. Yeah. Can we call the last roll? Winner? <laughs> right. We called the MP. And the next set. All right. I feel like Dirk's going to roll a double six. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I feel like it's going to be a double four. It'll be, you know, I mean, I like that tips. as well. They look similar. They feel similar. Right. And then you get the question do I hold that point? Three, one. And all of a sudden, yeah, he's going to. The limping has begun. Come down. Okay. I'm going to play eight, seven just to cross over the one next, but not a big deal. Two one, both peel players don't want this to end. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> want to leave a bad six one. That's why he doesn't bring the checker in from eight right. to six. Oh, double threes. Okay, so we got a little bit of something, one. something. Make to that one. So we slotting or are we Oh, he goes back. He does have four and a half minutes to ponder. Right. And it's one. worth it. I mean, he's thinking about clearing the mid, I'm sure, as well, but it doesn't need to do it just yet. Right. It's not much contact, though, holding on to this. Oh. suppose that's how we get a draw. Lose the dice. Yeah. First draw ever. Right. All right, We're now he clears. Okay. So now, now there's a little more pressure on that midpoint. Yeah, he doesn't have the good 5-2, uh, 6-2 two, two that he would have had by keeping that. Yeah. But he still has a bit more time, and Dirk's likely to give up the mid. Right. So he probably slots. Oh no, he just makes it. I would have maybe. Yeah, okay. You could save one more checker outside, yeah. but it's the same actually. And he could roll six one. Five two. Okay. Yeah, he could have rolled six one. Yeah. So that's why he made the board. And still can't get past. He's not a favorite to get past. Six to one or in. Okay, in okay. plays optimistically. Yeah. Yeah, computer generally does that. Ooh. But still has the spare, right? Okay, so make the two. Yeah. You know, you get a little more flexibility. And Mochi's thinking, I really just need to clear this. Mm. And double threes. Now six to one. It. Now <laughs> save the six. Oh, yeah. is it three two? Okay. Now I would save the six because he's got the time. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Only when you have to. Four three. Does he just make, make it? Board, or yeah. slots it? Maybe I'll just play seven. Eh. Yeah, interesting. I, like I mean, it. not a big deal, but I like this. Okay. Just better for the race. I mean, it's unlikely in the hitting there's going to be hitting variation right. the sequences are going to be different yeah it's a bit all right are they both burned feels like i guess yeah, yeah you save save the sixes again five two i don't think he'll save a six. Oh, he will okay mm. 
Again, not a big deal either way. I would just come in and play pure. Yeah, but you're going to stack the... No, you... yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. does look a bit weird. Create some wastage. I suppose clearing the six is good for the race as well. Both of them are reasonable. I guess you want a six, but it's only six one six two six three. So you want the crossovers and to play positively, right? I'm sure they're super close. Not something that's going to change your PR from Super Grandmaster to Grandmaster <laughs> <laughs> to trivialized. Okay. All right. Anything. Four two. Okay. Well, he keeps a five point board because yep. now he's got some chances at a shot, but it's really close now. Does he give it? No, of course no. not. Right, oh, I told you it's going to be a shot. It's going to be a shot and Look a reshot, even though it's really unlikely. Look at this. This was the script, folks. Double Boom. threes. There went the board. Okay. But he still doesn't double block with two one. Right. So he's happy about that. Two one. Good call. Okay. <laughs> he still doesn't double block with two. <laughs> if he had no three point, you'd. Have... And then. Oh, uh, look at your look at your six one. Oh, look. look at this! Wait, he's look, going for it. I don't know. Though. Love this. Maybe it's better to look just, at this. This is so good. But look at six one five one four one. If you do, instead just use the what two. about? Oh, yes. I like yes. this better. This look is at nice this four one five one six one. Beautiful. I mean, come on, beautiful. Baby. You get the double shot. Fantastic. You get the double shots. That's what you want. Double yeah, shot. Yeah. The race is kind of dead now. Wow, I love the fact he's considering both these ones. I like this. This has got to work. Even if he rolls like double two from here, double three, you still got something. Yeah. You can come in on the four. Even six two, two, you got loads of return shots. Five two, five three, six three. You still got loads of stuff this going feels, on. This feels so purely painful when you roll that five one. I like it. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> Oh Lord! I like it. It's, it's I don't know if you're if you're listening at home or watching at home. You're like, are these guys geeks or what? And it's like, yes, yes. This is this is the kind of stuff when you're looking at a game and you see this little nuance. This is two super grandmasters slugging it out, and here is a play which a lot of people wouldn't find that absolutely has so much upside. Right. Yeah, Merritt's looking at... It's all about the details. Got to run the numbers. I think he's going to find this here. He's also got the time on his clock to, to go about it in this way. Yeah. This should be the right idea. The gain on 615141 immediately is, is huge. No, no. This is a single shot at best. At best, yeah. I just don't think he loses out on that much. I mean, 3-2 is a swing, granted. Right. But even if you get, you get responses with three one. Oh. I don't like this. Oh, what here comes a four? Is it a four one five one or six? It must one? be. It's gonna be a oh, four one five dear. one or six one. We know there's. It has to be okay. Four five, but still, it was better for the race the right. other way. All right, let's see if we can roll back into it. Very interesting decision there. Anyway, two one failure. Felt like he should have gone for it, but can't fault him. Pressure. <laughs> exactly. Knowing they have two expert commentators watching their every move. Right. Okay, that goes all the way in, right? The yeah. SGM title battle on the line. But I think Doug probably still win the PR unless that decision was really big. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he could win it a different way. Here he comes. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Special finish. Let's go. Last roll finish. So double five, double six. Is don't even need it. Yet, boom. Right? Is that a boom? Small okay. boom. Small boom. Classic seven. I feel like it's going to be an aces. No, he needs he needs it now. Double five. Come on. No. Come on. Get greedy. He doesn't need that much. Is that right greedy? Now. Is that really greedy? Boom. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Who knew that pact with you applies to other people? Look at that. One, two, three, four rolls. Now it's interesting. One, two, three, four, five rolls. Now we're last roll position. One, two, three, four rolls, four rolls. Here we go. This right. is what everybody wanted. <laughs> this is where the real skill comes in. Three rolls versus four rolls. Oh, uh, yeah. Is he going to roll the double back? He needs to roll the double soon, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Pretty freaking soon. Doug, he's just going to close it out. He would have finished it right there. There and then, Mochi. Oof, big pressure. I feel like Mochi's rolling a set here. Big deep breath. There's a set. Extra shake. Oh. And the flick. Did you see the spin Actually, he got on the that? Flick. He put a little English on that. Oh, lights out. Double two. Cool. Wow. Calm. Wow. All right. Easy race. Well played, Easy guys. Easy race. Easy race. Looked like Dirk was dead, and then he just comes up with a double five.
Pleasure commentating with you, sir. Pleasure commentating with you. Anytime. Yeah. Thank you, everybody listening. I hope you enjoyed that. And we've yes. got plenty of action to come, I'm sure, on the live stream and online. Yeah. So lots of love, best wishes to everybody. And we'll be with you soon. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like a perfect closing. Yeah, well, peace out. Peace out. All right, this is Carter Madigan, Sebastian Wilkinson, saying good night. Uh, it is late here in Lutraki, but uh, that was an amazing match. And as soon as we have the PRs, do we have the PRs? We will inform. Uh, now that the match is over, we can inform you that Dirk was leading up until the last game, and so we're not sure exactly what the results are. But we will get those to you. Oh, it looks like they're running on the main screen. Can we find Okay, I guess we do not see it, but thank you very much for joining us here in Greece. Have a good night. Three, three way, three way. Yeah, I was happy for me that you took. I thought with the priming potential, and I felt pretty good about it. Yeah, yeah. structurally, I mean, I have all the advantages. So I, I, I mean, I felt it was not a super easy take for money. I mean, probably take, but not like.